Jay-Z's here with Pro Wrestling Savior, the one, JT Dunn. And if you're on YouTube, you want wrestling information, you want to see some stuff, Dre41 YouTube, the exclusive spot right here. The right. JT Dunn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah. No What's up, y'all? It is your boy, Dre41, a.k.a. Mr. 4K, a.k.a. Spicy Dre, and welcome to another episode of Two Out of Three Falls. On this episode today, I bring you Keji Muda and Masahiro Chono, best Two Out of Three Falls, man. And we're going to start this one off a little bit different because I can. This one is going to be going throughout the years now. So now we got young boy Chono going up against young boy Mudo. It's going to be interesting. I, I like this. I like this one. See, I wanted to do this one for... The funny thing is, I, this one would be one of my first episodes, but it completely slipped my mind and I went a completely different way. But now we're going back onto the Japanese games. I think what I'm going to do is two Japanese episodes, two American wrestling episodes. I wish I was able to do WCW, but that might be a bit difficult. Well, no, I could do it on N64, but... Kind of wanted to keep this on PlayStation, but honestly, could be, well, you know how the Aki games are. The Aki games, and sometimes it takes forever for a match to go through. So it's just like, er, do I want to do that? Do I? Do I, I might not. I might want to, but I'm gonna hold off on that for now. So this is going to be, um, this is gonna be the this episode. The next episode, I want some big meaty men slapping meat. Pause. <laughs> um. To be in that match so I'm, I'm trying to figure out what game I can use the the person I'm thinking about and hoping that I can get the other person in that game too so we'll see or we could do a tournament bracket that would be tough that could possibly be tough I might do that I might just do that we'll see what happens we'll see but if you're a betting man or a woman, child, adult, elderly, whatever the case is, who are you going for? Keji Muto or Masahiro Chono? I'm going to be honest, Keji Muto's my guy, so I'm hoping that he can win. We'll see what happens. These two young boys are about to go at it. Who's going to walk away? One fall, 60 minutes. Let's get it cooking. Let's see who walks away with the victory now. This is computer versus computer. Three games, if it reaches that. If they get swept uh, to nothing, then that's the episode right there. I honestly, I, I, I'm sorry. Wow, I just bit my tongue a little bit. That didn't feel good. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm going for my guy Keji. Um, I don't know. The, see, here's the great thing about these Japanese games back in the day. They didn't have overalls. They did not show overalls. So you just pick the person you wanted. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course they had stats. But it's like, that should... You know what? That... That's an interesting, that is very interesting, yo, if you think about it. It's like, stats will make you decide whether or not you want to play with a wrestler. And I think that's that's to the detriment of the characters in the wrestling game. I think there shouldn't be, honestly, overalls in wrestling games. I really, I, you know what, I think, I think that might be my mindset, yo. I think that might be the mindset there, yo. Even though most people won't like that, they'll be like, yo, what's your overall? It doesn't matter. Play with it. If you're good with them, you'll be able to win. There shouldn't be a person on the roster who can't win a match in a wrestling game. That's in any game, to be honest. That it would just be stupid. Because you just got a trash squad. I mean, you can sit there and say in sports games, basketball, baseball, football, but we don't know. We're we're talking about wrestling right now. I honestly think that there shouldn't be an overall. It should just be what their stats are, and that's it. Because I'm telling some people will not pick a certain wrestler because their overall is low. And they're just like, oh, they're trash. I'm cool. But whatever. I don't know. Do you guys think that overall should be in sports games? Or, like, in particular, a wrestling game? Because honestly, I'm, I'm kind of at the point now where I'm thinking you don't necessarily need that. I mean, right now, look at this German. <clears throat> German on the outside. I might change the camera angle on this game. Because I had that this, this angle for a minute. And I'm thinking just having it straight up hard camera. 
I think I think I might change it back to just a hard camera, honestly. But we'll we'll see what happens. I don't know. Um, getting back to this game, I think I unlocked everybody. Ooh, God, backdrop driving. Jesus lives. Um, I'm thinking about it. I don't know if I'll do it. Oh wait a minute, talking about unlocking people? I'm bugging. Yeah, so back to unlocking people. I think I unlocked everybody, but getting into creation mode, I want to be able to create everybody that I want. I'm not I wanna create Kenta Kobashi, because he's not in the game. I wanna create um uh Mitsuharu Misawa because he's not in the game, which is weird as hell. I don't understand why they're not in the game. Like that kind of bugs me out. Like that's why I kind of, I like the gameplay of this and how you unlock people in this, but I like the roster in part one better to be completely honest. That's how I feel. Now the next game they're gonna go at it in, um, I haven't decided. Well, of course you already see the thumbnail that I did decide, but you know, as I'm recording this live, um, I'm not sure what game to put them in next. I I'm thinking King of Coliseum, but I. I might go All-Star. I don't know. I might go King of Coliseum next. Because I just did a live stream of that um, video yesterday. Well, the live stream was yesterday, which was uh, February 20th, but you know, whatever. Damn, big drop kick by Keji. And Chono is in trouble. Chono better do something now. He getting work. He getting work. 2K, uh, 2K20 is right around the corner. 2K22, I'm sorry. It's right around the corner. It already came out by the time this video's um, live. And um, hopefully you guys are subscribed, man, because I'm going to be doing a live stream of 2K22. And I'm going to be doing... I'm going to also have a video upload that day. So it's going to be a live stream and an upload. So that, that should be cool. That should be cool. Hopefully you guys like that. It's going to be something very different for me because... You know, because a new, no new wrestling game come out in so long, I'm able to record videos uh, way ahead of time. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, now what I'm going to do is, even after I'm done recording this episode, I might do two. It all depends. But um, hopefully I could do two. We'll see what happens. But I'm going to start recording a, a SmackDown game to come on Fridays um, before SmackDown comes out. I'm trying to figure out which one to do. I'm thinking of just bring it. I'm thinking of doing just bring it. We'll see what happens. Oh, he's fired up. Up. What well, is this fired up move though? That's the big question. Damn, they both on fire. The fans are mid about all. Oh, everybody can count it out. Don't you dare. I was about to say you better not get counted out in this damn match. I'll be so pissed. Mm, big boy DDT. Nobody pulled off their finisher though. That's that's wild. That's definitely wild. Any attires like back in the day? Like, I enjoy old school. What the hell? How in the hell did he get fired up again? That's so strange. Single leg takedown. What are you about to do? Ooh, work that leg, Keji. There we Now, see, I wish they had the version of Keji with, you know, the full head of hair with the beard. That was in NWO. I want the heel Keji. That's the one I want. They're, they're, they're people, they, they've been cowards and never put them in the game. I would love to have a, a new, a new New Japan uh, video game. That's what I would love to have, but honestly, I don't think that's ever going to happen. New Japan is just not interested in, like, a console game. They keep doing these bum-ass mobile games, like, bruh. And then, yo, they got this new mobile game that you got to sign up to get, right? But instead of having, like, video game, like, it, it being a video game, they use real-life footage. I'm like, bruh, it's 2022. If you don't get some bum-ass game designer to help you develop a game that's worth, like, playing, bruh? Damn mobile game, bruh. New Japan need to step it up. They need to have a, a new Wrestle Kingdom. They need to do Wrestle Kingdom 3, bruh. Somebody needs to step it up and get Wrestle Kingdom 3. Real talk. Like, that would be so hard if they was able to do that, yo. A Wrestle Kingdom... Like, I know they got, you know, Fire Pro Wrestling World. They got New Japan in it, whatever the case is. But I'm talking about... Like a legit 3D, you know, current gen game. Eventually, I'm gonna get, you know, one of the new current gen systems. I haven't gotten it yet. I will. I know people are always like, oh, when you gonna, like, dog, like, are you gonna buy it for me? 
if you ain't gonna buy it for me, then please be quiet. <laughs> please sit down. But um, since this is coming out after 2K22, I know I'm jumping around the place. It is what it is. Um, I want to uh, I wanna. <sighs> I want to get the, the new system, it's probably going to be Xbox to be honest, because I was thinking about getting 2K22 on next gen, but I'm like, I'm not doing that, I'm cool, I'm, I'm straight, I'm not about to do that, to me it just doesn't make sense, honestly, it doesn't make sense, so I'm not going to, there I said it, and the fans are going nuts 8 minutes into this match, and no one did they finish her yet, I'm a little bit confused on that one, wow, Keshi, that's what we're doing out in these streets? Jesus. Oh, power, power driver. There we go. Oh, his neck is hurt. Oh, no, this is not good. That's not good. He could tap out, yo. Like, when his neck is messed up like that, yo, they can tap out, even though they're on yellow. Come on, Keji. Snapmare. Damn, good reversal. Good reversal. Stay on. Damn, drop toe hold. And he got his fin. Oh, STF is over. You better not tap. You better not. Oh, I was about to say, if you tap, you son of a bitch. Damn. Yo, Chono is putting in work. Wait a minute, wasn't Chono born in Seattle? Isn't he like American by clock? Like, a na naturalized? He's not naturalized citizen, sorry. Wait a minute, let me see this. Um, Masa. Masa Hero. Where's Chono at? Masa Hero Chono. There we go. No finisher yet, huh? Big boy DDT, though. Yeah, he was born September 17th. In Seattle, Washington. So he's American. Masahiro Chono is an American citizen. I remember that. Like he was born, he was born in um, Seattle, Washington. So he's American. But why they say when Masahiro Chono born is an American-born Japanese American retired professional wrestler? Yeah, he was definitely born in America. Masahiro Chono is American. Isn't that crazy? But his parents probably like visiting or something like that and then decided to move back to Japan or something like that, maybe. That's what I'm thinking, to be completely honest. Build from Tokyo, Japan and WCW, and then build from Nataka, Tokyo and New Japan. I don't understand why they just never said he was born in Seattle, Washington. Maybe that takes away from his, his aura, his character. Damn, Chono keeps getting his damn finisher. Is that his finisher? The pile driver? I don't remember what his finisher is. What is it? That's not his finisher. Is that his finisher? Wait a minute, he's busted open? Oh, look at this Kimura lock. Damn, son, he keeps getting his finisher. Like, Keji getting washed out in these streets. What's going on? Come on, Keji. Oh, what we about to do? Hork Rana with the pen? Oh, man. Oh, well. But yo, I, I love this game, yo. This this game is amazing, yo, for me. Like, just to have a Japanese wrestling game. Oh god, German. Yeah! There we go. Big boy German. Big boy Jermaine. Is that it? Oh, Moonsault. Moonsault. Boom! Oh, wait a minute. Keshi might take this one. Oh, it's rope break, you son of a bitch! Oh, I hate you. I hate you. Go up. Go up top, baby. What you doing, dog? What are you doing? Oh, it's too late. Is he going to pin off that? Wow, that's cheap. Wow, but Keji walked away with a victory off the cheap win. Wow. We're going to go to the next one. I'm happy Keji won, though. <laughs> and now we are on to the next match, and we are going to get this one cooking. And Token Ratsudan 3, we about to get it popping. Here's the funny thing, right? I threw in All-Star Pro Wrestling 3, and Keji Muto is not in the damn game. Because why? They don't have All Japan Pro Wrestling in the damn game. They have NOAA, but they don't have All Japan. Like, dog. That's the, that's the one thing that was always an issue with these Japanese wrestling games, is that they can always get a couple of the companies, but not all of them. You feel me? Well, at least on the better ones. I'm not going to say that. Just on a good portion of the games, man. It would be so tough if they were able to do that. This is so tough because for the longest time, I did not know that there was entrances in this game because I used to press O 
when selecting the wrestlers and starting the match instead of selecting both the wrestlers and then pressing start. So in the wrestler select menu, you choose whether entrances are on or off. And I just did not realize that. Coming out first is my guy, Kejimuto, now with the NWO in this game. And um, this is this this, is, this Keji, he fights dirty. He fights dirty. You see him with the NWO attire on. Pixel pixelated like a mother, but it's it's fine. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting you guys on to wrestling games that you probably don't see often. No one plays like that. I'll, I have a playthrough of it. I have a playthrough. Y'all should definitely check it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely going to get back on this game because I want to beat the game. And it took me forever. That might be my next stream is beating this damn game. I definitely want to do that. So I might hop back on this and beat the game. Um, before I was using Black Tiger because he had some great moves. Oh, his move set was official. Shout out to my guy Eddie Guerrero, man. Rest in peace, big dog. Um, he's in the game, but you know he's Black Tiger instead of Eddie Guerrero. Um, I don't know if I want to use Keji Mudo. I might follow up with Black Tiger, or um, no, I'm not gonna use that guy. They got He Who Shall Not Be Named in this game. He's in this game, and I'm not gonna use it. But no, I definitely want to um, beat this game, unlock whoever it is there can be unlocked in this game. Um, I think there's create a wrestler in here. I, I Listen, I played this game a minute ago, and I did the review a minute ago, so I can't remember to be completely honest. But here goes Masahiro Chono, born in Seattle, Washington. Yes, he is an American citizen, a naturalized American citizen. He was born in the good old US of A. So shout outs to him. Um, but yeah, man, I, I want to see who walks away with the victory in this one. Honestly, it's going to be difficult to say who. Um, a betting man will sit there and say Chono. Because at this point in time, Chono, I, uh, Chono was a quote unquote bigger star than, than Kejimuto. He, he was a bigger star. But, um,. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm very intrigued to see who's going to walk away with the victory, man. I really am. I just love playing these old school Japanese wrestling games, man. It's, it gives me much joy <laughs> to know that I, I now have the physical copies of these. Like, it really does. And then I'm able to upload these videos on YouTube. Like, you're not going to see this from a lot of other people, man. And it's just like, I'm happy that I'm one of a small few who care enough to upload stuff like this just for people who are like, yo, I'm tired of seeing WWE games. Let me upload something else. You know what I'm saying? Let me watch something else. And you get to see episodes or videos like this. You feel me? Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I enjoy the new gen games. They look pretty and all that stuff. But wait a minute. Is there another? Oh, yeah, there's a referee in this. I'm sitting there like, yo, who's that dude in the corner? All right, here we go. They about to get it cooking, Chono. And Muto. Let's get it. Damn, this match took four minutes before starting. These entrances are real. I don't know how long this match is going to be, so we'll see. To be completely honest, side headlock takeover by Chono. Chono on fire. I'm feeling it right now. Good backspin kick. All right. Fujiwara. Work the arm. How's that rope break, though? Was that rope break? Headlock takeover. They take. They keeping it real, real simple right now. Keeping it real simple. And what's the snap? Oh, wait a minute. Good reversal. Big snap suplex reversal by Keji Muto. He loves to see it. And working on the arm. That's a go-to right there for Keji. That's definitely a go-to. I mean, this game is almost like the um. God, what is the other wrestling game? Um, the American version of this, the bastardized one. Uh, Power Move Pro Wrestling. I have that game too. Don't I? Yeah, I have that game too. I've <laughs> got Power Move Pro Wrestling. Oh my god, I forgot I had it, yo. Yo, this takes me back, man. It's like, it's so cool now, like, as an adult, like, I get to, like, play these games that I missed out on as a kid, yo. The young boy Dre would have went nuts off of the, these games. I wouldn't have known a good portion of the people because, you know, just having access is one thing, you know, basically. 
but um you know having access to watch you know what i'm saying like wrestling from um wrestling from different you know different countries because to keep it a hundred man I, I didn't get to do that you know what i'm saying like if i i seen chono and mudo or great the great muda because keji mudo never wrestled in wcw the great muda did oh damn drop kick from the top um, I didn't get to see these guys often, but only, you know, here and there when they wrestled in WCW. So that was one thing that I could say that w WCW had over WWF at the time, was that they had a, a relationship with people in New Japan. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, they did bring in some wrestlers from Japan and WWF, but a lot of those guys really got their start in ECW, and then, you know, since WWE was giving ECW some bread, you know what I'm saying? They'll let him wrestle on Raw or Shotgun Saturday Night or whatever. That's how you was able to get like some of the other members in, of Kayentai with Takamichinoku and Funaki. People forget that Kayentai was a faction. It wasn't just Takamichinoku and Sho Funaki. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the other members got burned in ECW. They, you know, they got to work there. They also had the great, uh, the great Sasuke on Raw. Like, what? Stop playing. They had the great Sasuke on Raw. On WWF Raw. They had the light heavyweight tournament, man. They had some great athletes from Japan in there, man. Y'all missed out. If y'all young, y'all missed out on some great wrestling back in, you know what I'm saying, back in the 90s. Um, Because you got to see these wrestlers, like, I would say the most recent one that you got to see on WWE TV was a couple of years ago, and that was Jushin Thunder Liger. Honestly, and he beat uh, Tyler Breeze. There we go. I forgot his name, but it's Tyler Breeze. I'm surprised Tyler. Oh, I don't think Tyler Breeze wants to wrestle. Again. I think he's done wrestling, though, to be completely honest. Because he, yo, he got released a grip ago, dog, and he has not wrestled anywhere since. I think he saved up enough money to where he doesn't have to. But it kind of sucks. Like, I don't know. If you think about it, it's like, yo, are they interested in wrestling and, like, just WWE, they think that's the be-all, end-all, or do they have, like, a plan on, like, still wanting to wrestle? It's like, how do you lose your lover? You spent mad years doing it, and just because you got released, and I mean, it's different strokes for different folks, but for me, it all, I guess it all depends, because seeing Punk quit WWE, and he ain't wrestling seven years, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I'm thinking that Tyler Breeze is young enough that he can still wrestle if he wants to, so it is what it is. All right, what is Keshi gonna do? He's just walking up on him. Do something, my guy. I think he wanted to go up top. But then what would he do? A drop kick? I don't know. Big boy body slam. He ain't going up. Is he going up top? Nope, he's going for a pin. Wow. You are cheap, my guy. You, oh, spin kick missed. And then it's like, I don't know how to do finishers in this game. So I know with, um, with uh, Black Tiger, I was doing the Tiger Suplex. Honestly, or dragon suplex and pinning them off that. That because I don't know how to do finishers. I'm dead serious. Like these older games, like the PlayStation ones, I don't know how to do finishers for. Like I don't know how to do finishers in um, King Coliseum. I don't know how to do finishers in All Star Pro Wrestling Three. I don't. I don't know how. To be completely honest, I don't. Like I don't know how to do finishers in this. So I mean, some of these games is like it's difficult to play because. You don't know how to do finishers. And let's say even if you're beating up your opponent, real talk, they get fired up. Like they get like, you know, they, they get on fire when you beating them down and they get to do their finisher. So I, I'm not going to let the computer beat me up just to get my finisher. I'm sorry. That's just not going to happen. Not in my community. I'm cool on that. Shoot. But nah, this is the second match and they're already going 10. Ooh, Dragon Screw Leg like, with. I was about to say they go in 10 minutes, but they have not. The clock is a lot faster than normal time. Uh-oh, backbreaker. Oh, that's Moonsoul, baby. What is he about to do? That backbreaker is the prelude. Man, what's this? Dragon screw? There we go. That's a stand-in finisher, if anything. Especially back in the day. What, figure four? Yup, figure four can end it. Figure four can end it. Is it rope break? Oh, come on, my guy. Yo, rope breaking this is buns, bruh. Like, man, rope breaking that damn close. Real talk. What's the snap? There we go. Snap suplex. He caught him with the dragon screw leg whip. I feel like that's his standard finisher. 
And then that figure four right there, man, that, that can end the game right there. They still battling it out. But I swear, I really do want a new Japanese wrestling game, man. That's why I'm hoping... I'm hoping that New Japan gets something cooking, man. Because it's like, they could put New Japan... They could put, um... I mean, they, they could put Noah. I wouldn't mind that. And what other... Put an American one in there. Put, put Impact. Put Impact. Now, it would be hard if they had some New Japan guys in AEW game, but I wouldn't expect it. Moonsault, that's it. That's it. And it was a wash, Keji Muto, with a clean sweep. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe. Catch you guys on the next episode later. Damn, he washed him. I did not expect that, but we get what we get. You know what I mean?